Welcome back to another episode of MotoGP Mac, and today we're going to talk about Paul Spagaro's comments on how KTM's shortcomings in rider management is very, very bad. Now, as we know, Paul Spagaro will take up a role as test and reserve rider and compete in a number of wildcards in 2024. But recently, he was asked, what is justice in our sport? And he said, because there is a rider who beats the rest... But you don't know, is this because he has the most talent or because he has the best bike? And if you don't have the best bike, most of the time you're not able to win. At the moment, I am in and seeing that the factory wants to evolve young talents like Pedro Acosta, 100% this situation could have been avoided. It is an absolute management error on part of KTM. And I feel bad because I don't like to criticize the factory I work for, the one that pays me or the one that takes care of me. But in this aspect, we have talked many times. They still have many shortcomings in terms of contract or rider management. And this has been one of those times. You cannot sign or have a rider with options to go to MotoGP. It was quite obvious that Petro's path would go to MotoGP and other riders are already signed. Or a rider would have a one plus one contract and renew it. You're going to find yourself within this situation. I am not saying that it is fair or unfair that Augusto or I would have left that seat to Pedro or Pedro would have had stayed in Moto2. But in any case, The management has been very, very bad. And I think he's kind of right here in a way. Look, I think KTM got very much so cut out with the the I believe they thought they were really going to get the five or six bikes on the grid and they presumed that it was a formality and it turned out not to be a formality. Which is, in my view, a bit of a a worry and a concern because at the end of the day, um, it, it means that KTM were not really looking at the current situation. They were kind of a little bit head up in the clouds. And I suppose he is right that if you have a rider that is in a junior category, you know, and you're promising him a MotoGP ride, then the last thing that you would do is secure anyone else's ride for that following year if that person is performing in the lower class or their contract states that the following year they need to go to MotoGP. I think KTM have looked a little bit foolish in what's happened. Of course, I also believe Paul Spagaro has had many chances in MotoGP and he should just enjoy it at this stage. He was the great hope um, he was the one over Polis Bagaro, but he has been, in my view, outshone many times by his brother. But I definitely love to know your thoughts. What do you think Polis Bagaro saying it like it is about how KTM have handled the rider situation? Definitely leave your thoughts in the comments below and I'll be back again tomorrow with another video.